To pass physical sciences, you need to plan and prepare properly. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. This was always my favorite quote. By preparing properly, I was able to obtain distinctions for both physical sciences and mathematics during my matric year. So, how do you properly prepare so that you can pass physical sciences in grade 10? The answer is that you need to be familiar with the topics that you will be learning and writing tests on for the second term. In this video, I'm going to give you a summary of all the topics for term 2, grade 10, physical sciences, so that you know what to expect. If you know what to expect, you can plan and prepare for it to improve your marks in physical sciences. The three main topics that you will be learning in term 2, if you are in grade 10 and are taking physical sciences are... Topic 1, Electric Circuits. You must have already started with this topic during Term 1. So in Term 2, we will just be finishing it off. This is the physics part that we will do. This is the only physics part that we will do this term. The second topic is Matter and Materials. This is the chemistry part of physical sciences that we all love. Most of us are already familiar with this topic as we had already done it in during uh, if we took natural sciences. The last topic will be chemical change. This is also the chemistry part of physical sciences. So if you check, you will realize that this term, there will be less physics, but more chemistry. Now, I want to take you through each of these topics so that you know what to expect and what is important. Doing calculations involving resistors connected in series and those connected in parallel is an important skill that you will need to have, not just in grade 10, but also in grade 11 and grade 12. We have already started learning about electric circuits in the first term. Now, during the first week or two of the second term, you will, we will be finishing off with electric circuits. So for term two, the focus will be on resistance and resistors. More specifically, resistors connected in series and those that are connected in parallel. So you need to be able to know how to analyze electric circuits when resistors are connected in series and when they are connected in parallel. This means you need to know what the effect on current and potential difference is when resistors are connected in series and when they are connected in parallel. The cell phone, tablet, or even a computer you're watching this video on is Meta. Matter is anything that has a mass and occupies space. For example, your cell phone may weigh 2 grams, so it has a mass and it takes some space around you. This means it occupies space, which means it is matter. During the second term, we will learn about matter and materials. Matter can exist in three states. 1. Gas, represented by small letter G. 2. Liquid, represented by small letter L. And 3. Solid, represented by small letter S. In the second term, you will learn all about this under the topic States of Matter and Kinetic Molecular Theory. Now, all matter is made of small particles called atoms. This means that everything or all around us is made from these very small things called atoms. And this is why we need to study the atom. So that is another topic we will study under matter and materials, the atom. We cannot talk about atoms without first talking about the periodic table. The periodic table consists of elements. Atoms are part of an element. During the second term, we will learn about the different elements from metals, non-metals, gases, etc. 
atoms can combine to form other types of materials. When this happens, we refer to it as chemical bonding. We will learn about chemical bonding during the second term. So we have states of matter, the atom, the periodic table, and chemical bonds under matter and material. The last topic for the second term is chemical change. And as I mentioned before, this is still chemistry. So this term, we will be doing a whole lot of chemistry. And most students fortunately find the, the chemistry part of physical sciences easy. So we will learn about two types of change that matter can undergo. Matter can undergo one physical change and secondly, it can undergo chemical change. So we will be studying that topic physical and chemical change. We will also learn about how do we show or how do we uh, represent this uh, chemical change that we are referring to using uh, equations under a topic representing chemical change. That is a very interesting uh, topic to study, especially when we start working with those chemical equations. The last, last uh, topic that we will do will be how to do we then so when we know what is physical and chemical change we now we now know how to represent that chemical change so now we need to also learn how to do calculations involving this chemical change so you will see you will calculate things such as the number of moles molarity concentration and volume i wish you all the best in physical sciences for term two